And parking problems at Charlotte's Avid Exchange Music Factory have many customers frustrated right now and forking up a lot of cash. As Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger tells us, small typos are costing people $75. What's supposed to be a carefree solution to parking payments has turned into anything but for dozens of Music Factory customers. The next morning I woke up and saw the ticket on my windshield and I was surprised because uh, I didn't even realize that that was going to be a thing. Daniel Bowden was issued a $75 parking ticket from parking enforcement company Rise Tech Global. Though he says he initially forgot to pay the $21.50 parking fee, he was playing volleyball at VBGB, a venue that offers parking validations. He thought if he emailed Rise Tech explaining his situation and sending proof that he was at VBGB, they'd waive his fine. Basically, they said that my reason wasn't valid. In an email to Daniel, a representative from Rise Tech said, quote, I can only override the citation if you made a minor error putting in your license plate when you paid to park. But that's exactly what happened to Alan Kavana, and he said his $75 citation wasn't waived. I had made a typo, a small one-digit typo when typing in my license plate. Now, to me, I thought, well, okay, I did pay. They took my money, so I've paid for parking. Even then, all they would do is reduce the amount that I paid for parking. They never reduced the fine. A headache that's happened to at least a dozen other people, according to Google reviews. Hillary says, quote, validated my parking at VBGB, and then I get a $75 ticket. Emailed company, and they said the license tag I typed in doesn't match my tag even though they received the money. Same thing with Ryan. He said, quote, upon reaching out to customer service, they refused to grant an exception, a slip of the finger with a $75 consequence. All right, let's get right out to Queen City News reporter Sydney Heimberger live outside the music factory in Uptown tonight. Sydney, this is a story that seems to be affecting a lot of people that we are just now coming to find out more about. you got to wonder how much power private companies even have when issuing parking tickets. Brian, it's a great question. We did reach out to Rise Tech Global, and unfortunately, they did not answer our request for comment. But we also reached out to a local Charlotte attorney, and he says, in fact, private companies can issue parking citations if you improperly park on their property. But that would be a civil matter, not a criminal one. Mm. I'm live at the Music Factory, Sydney Heiberger. Queen City News. Yeah, certainly a developing story. The Queen City News will stay on top of. Sydney, thanks.